So I get lots of questions, people ask me about certain guitars I have, or just in general gear and stuff um, that they see me posting about in the groups. Um, I figured I'd take a little video here, just kind of give you guys a, a rundown real quick. Um, it's easier than taking 25 pictures. So this is um, this is my um, 2019 um, LTD Iron Cross. Uh, this is my 2022 camo snake bite. This is the um, 30th anniversary of the Black Album um, KH3 Spider. Um, this guy right here is a 82 Tokai V. Um, I've kind of modeled it after Kirk's uh, Murphy Lab. It's got a set of bone breakers in it. Um, had a new bone nut cut on it. It's got the 8.8 millimeter, um, no locking collar, just a bushing style, um, Cluson locking tuners, um, obviously the EMG electronics, output jack, and pots and stuff. Um, this guy right here is the um, special edition. Um, I call it the green burst. Uh, I've completely replaced everything. It's got a chrome Floyd 1000 uh, set of bone breakers. Uh, chrome knobs, um, locking Gota tuners. Um, this guy right here is the new uh, white vulture, completely stock. Um, this guy right here is uh, started out life as a 75 Greco. Uh, it's been custom up in Relic to mimic um, James's early Electra. It's got a set of the headset pickups in it with the uh, EMG solderless electronics and output jack and stuff. It's got hip shot open gear tuners on it, a uh, new bone nut, and um, that's pretty much it. And I said this is one of the only guitars I have that's got strap locks on it, mainly because the strap button on the back is so close to the heel joint that I couldn't really fit a different strap on there. Um, so that is why it is the way that it is. Um, this is a this is my 2020 um, black satin vulture. Um, it is stock. This is my 2005 uh, truckster. It is not a Kiso. It is just a signature series. But I mean, it is built in Japan. It's got the stock 8160s in it. Haven't done anything special to it. Um, it's got Spurzel locking tuners and otherwise exactly how you would have gotten it in 2005. Um, moving over, that is 2019 White Zombie is completely stock. This is 2017 Purple Ouija. It is also completely stock, other than all of my Floyds have pop-in arms instead of the thread-in arms. This is a 2013 Nosferatu, um, very limited run. They are quite uncommon. Again, it's bone stock. It's just got an 81 EMG 81 in the bridge, um, but it is completely stock. Otherwise, this is my 2018 um, uh, Snake Bite. It is completely stock. Um, moving over, this is 2019. Um, Gibson Les Paul Player Deluxe. It has got Thunderbird mini buckers in it, and I put um, I put locking tuners on it. Uh, I put the tulip style heads on them. I just think that those look the greatest on pretty much everything, but especially Les Pauls. Um, this right here is my uh, 2023 Greeny. Um, it is completely stock other than the same thing. I put Gota uh, locking tuners on it. Same thing with the tulip heads. Uh, this guy right here is maybe one of my most favorite guitars for being a poor man. Um, it is a 1991 Edwards EX75. I have replaced it um, with a, the, it's got a Goto bridge, uh, EMG headset and locking tuners um it's got a new bone nut on it obviously it's got all the emg electronics um pots and output jack uh it is just a awesome guitar and 
it's meant to mimic that classic MX uh, 220 or 250. It's it's a bolt-on neck, so more like a 220. Um, this guy up here is the uh, 2023 KHV, completely stock. It's got the bone breaker set in it, um, but it's completely stock. Have not touched it or done anything to it. Um, over here is um, my 602 Purple Sparkle. It is stock, just like the black 602 beside it, other than those pop-in arms rather than the thread-in arms. Um, the guy beside it here is the 2015 uh, Dark Cherry uh, Kirk's Special, completely stock. Um, this guy right here is an Epiphone strap body that I pretty much completely stripped down and customed out. It's got locking tuners, um, the Hammett loaded pit guard with the SA single coils and then an 81 EMG in the bridge. It's got the um, the Floyd rail tail bridge on it and the EMG electronics um, that are all pre-wired and stuff. So it was kind of something I modeled after his kind of like his, you know, his original KH2. Um, just more like a project guitar, but it looks pretty cool. It's very lightweight. Sounds just like any other EMG loaded guitar that I have. Um, this here is a 1989 Greco um, Les Paul Custom. It has been pretty much kept stock other than I put those Gota locking tuners on it, um, the tulip heads. Um, the electronics are all original, the bridge and hardware and stuff as well. And then this guy right here is a 1996 um, ESP Telecaster. It has got uh, modified pickups in it. It's got a hot rail in the bridge, and it has got a zebra bucker in the neck. Um, it's got locking tuners. It's got quick locking tuners. Um, not traditional lockers, but it's got quick locks. And it is one of the other ones that I have that has got strap locks on it. Um, but those are pretty much it. As far as my axes, um, gear-wise, uh, Tube Meister uh, adjustable 18 watt. Below it's the 25 watt uh, adjustable 10 to 25 watt mini rectifier. Um, Orange Super Crush 100. Below that's a 2010 multi watt dual rectifier. Below that is 2013 Marshall uh, JCM 2000 triple super lead. Um, I run those guys together um, through an ABY switch, each into one of the 2x12 cabs. And this guy over here is just a uh, Mark 5 25 watt combo that I can also, um, I will run the <clears throat> head out into one of those cabs and, and blend them with one of the other amps that you see there. Um, pedal wise, just a Boss EQ, um, the seven channel selector, uh, just your regular old polytune tuner pedal, both of the Hammett Waz, um, both of Hammett's um, signature distortion pedals, just kind of have them. Also his clean boost, really the only pedal that I usually ever use in front of my big tube amps is that TS-808 reissue. Um, got the Digitech drop pedal, uh, which is really helpful for when you're using, you know, Floyd's uh, and want to play an alternate tuning so you don't have to spend 30 minutes restringing it and setting it up. And then beside that's just a good old Boss Reverb. Um, and then there's my ABY box to, to blend them. Um, when I record, I run through that Shure SM58 and it goes into the Scarlet Focus right. Um, and then into my PC rig that I run through Reaper. And also when I'm recording video at the same time, I run it, um, everything through XSplit. So that is kind of my setup. Um, PCs, they're just high-end gaming PCs. Um, i9 processors with, one's got a um, GeForce 2080 Super. The other one has got a 3060 um, GPU, but, um, I don't really think that that stuff is necessary for anything guitar related. I just 
happen to have them for doing other gaming related stuff so that is that is my gear rundown um just in a nutshell lots of uh metallica gear posters um stuff i've been collecting over the years but um i do get a lot of questions people are asking me about specific guitars so i figure i will kind of wrap it all up here in one video um, throw this thing on YouTube and I can just direct people to it in the future rather than having to run back and find specific images and, and describe everything like that. So um, that is the that is the, the, the lab as I call it and uh, if anybody has any comments feel free to put them in the comment section below.